This community has a private education system educating thousands upon thousands of children. And that yeshiva system is central to the existence of this community. And the government has been amazing in giving support to that community in terms of the material support that we need. And right now we're asking her, I know she's sympathetic to it, but I'm asking her to be even more of a partner for the spiritual support that this community needs. Unfortunately, there was some legislation passed and there's some regulations that have been written that will severely hamper the ability of our yeshiva system to be able to function the way it always has. And if you want to understand what education means to this community, the Rebbe Rabbi Schneerson that we know is the seventh of the chain of Rebbe's. Several of his predecessors went to jail because they stood up for the pure education that we give our children, the values that we want to share with our children, the study of ancient text that is part of the tradition that we all that we all cherish. And that is under threat right now by these new regulations that we propose in all of And we're asking, we're imploring our government to stand with us and to be part of that battle to see to it that this pure education that is integral to this community should be able to be preserved and enhanced and strengthened and not undermined by the ability of some guy to call, put, pick up a phone and make complaints and trigger a whole investigation and all of the things. <laughs> all of the things that are still being, even though there's some improvements that are still part of the new regulation. So now, Without further ado, I want to pull up our friend, our governor, Kathy Hochul, to say a few words.